All right, all right. Welcome back, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good, good. So we have the new set. Yeah, I love it. A little this. bit different than it uh, used to be. Yeah. Look, it got my ugly mug on the shot now. It's about time we got you in the camera again. <laughs> we your own show. We see you all the time, but you don't see you in my show. It's all right. We hear it's your right. voice, though. Yeah, well, you know, some days I'm just, you know, I'm not wearing, uh, you know, I'm just in shorts and a backwards hat. You know what? I thought about it and I went... At the end of the day, nobody cares. Right. They care about what we're doing. It's mostly on the radio anyway, right? So they're not going to see uh, us. I don't know. Uh, if people are not aware, they can find it at getdetoxinated.com. They can find everything at johnrobertquinn.org. They can watch all the episodes. Um, this is episode seven, part one. I want to get into um, real quick. Um, talk to me. What is detoxination? Okay. So what we do is we get the toxins that are causing all the inflammatory diseases and neurological conditions, including cancers even, mm -hmm. uh, that are coming from fat stored toxins. These are the ones that the body can't process. So the, uh, the liver and the kidneys, when they reject these toxins, throw them into the fat cells and you're basically suffering with those for many years. And uh, our job is to get those out, and we do that with uh, niacin, exercise, and sauna therapy. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are unaware of what uh, toxins are. Right. Explain to me what some of these toxins exactly. are. Exactly. In fact, uh, technically the term I like to use is xenobiotics, but toxins works for now. But we're dealing with the heavy metals. We're dealing with the synthetic chemicals, and we're dealing with persistent organic pollutants, which are typically your pesticides, herbicides, things like that, that don't mm -hmm. break down. They're designed to not biodegrade in any hurry. So uh, these are the types of toxins that I talk about usually. So uh, when they get uh, into the body through maybe your skin or through the air that you breathe, mm -hmm. uh, your food, water, all these different ways. In fact, your clothing, brand new clothing, your mm -hmm. flooring, uh, a lot of these things are going to off gas. So uh, once these chemicals get into your body, your, your liver and your kidneys are not designed well, to handle those. Well, think about it like this. I mean, you got to think, okay, when our bodies were created, we didn't have automobiles. We didn't have freeways. We didn't have exhaust fumes. You know, we're driving right. down the freeway. The window's down. It's a nice, beautiful day. But then that diesel truck goes by, and he's blowing that stuff in. Or you go down to the dealership, and you buy a new car, mm -hmm. and it's got that new car smell. And, of course, that new car smell is now causing, um, you know, you're breathing in um, – glue and oh, paints yeah. formaldehydes and, and all kinds of things it's, in, it's in industrial terrible. areas or where there's uh, mining or construction or anything like that you know they're all blowing out uh, all kinds of well, look at what's material. happening in downtown right now you're gonna mm -hmm. tell me that just because the stuff blows that way it's not blowing this way I mean, that's right on. um it's on the day doesn't it so your why what is your why 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 are we doing this you know this actually uh, stems back to my wife susie so okay. she in 2012 had uh, a physician prescribe a very radical uh, procedure for what was simply hyperthyroidism actually because mm -hmm. that was something that we found out much later was uh, easily cured by our own treatments but her uh, provider recommended radioactive iodine therapy which essentially destroys the thyroid and actually has now made her a slave to big pharma. Mm -hmm. Now she has to have her thyroid medication in order to even function. And, you know, she'll tell you that that's not even, you know, acceptable levels mm -hmm. of functioning. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it was only after we realized the mistake and then did the research that we should have done beforehand mm -hmm. uh, because we were actually suffering from what I call social allopathic conditioning, mm -hmm. which means that we're basically, you know, all conditioned to believe that the healthcare industry is the only place to go for any kind of medical treatment. The thing is, is that that's what they focus on is treatment. Mm -hmm. And uh, we focus now on either cures that are natural or prevention. So. Well, when you think about how the how the medical system is built, uh, when you get sick, you go to the hospital. You mm -hmm. don't go there for preventative care. You go there when you get sick. And what do they do? They put a Band-Aid on it, and they send you home. They give you a pill. They send you if, home. If you're lucky, yeah. Otherwise, hey, you'll go to the hospital and wind up staying for several days, and guess what? You're probably going to get some kind of infection from just staying That there. actually has happened to me. I, I, I'm sure. It, it happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I got a staph infection. That was not fun. Yeah, you're not, not fun. the only one. Um, uh, tell me about the, the little history. Uh, the, the, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to word this here. Tell me about the secret history of modern medicine. Maybe we should talk about the fact that this is in my book. 
because uh, okay, yeah, uh, you know, my book hopefully is going to be coming out. I'm shooting for November. Okay, uh, hopefully before the end of the year. Okay, uh, and and the title of the book is Health Controls Wealth, mm -hmm. and the reason for that is because frankly the medical world does control your wealth, mm -hmm. and it's by design. Um, now. In 2018, the average American family household of four is going to spend about $28,000. Now, mind you, that's the average. So some are paying a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, many are paying less. But when you consider how much it costs for your insurance, your deductibles, your, your uh, co-pays, and all the medications and things like that, $28,000 for a family of four is pretty much average. And a lot of the conditions that people are suffering from are things that could have been prevented. Mm -hmm. You know, nutrition is the number one reason for these, uh, you know, poor nutrition. The, mm -hmm. the, the junk we buy in the store is the largest reason. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, the toxin buildup is the other reason. So um, when it comes to the medical industry and the history behind it, you have to know that Rockefeller and Carnegie are the reason why we really have so many pharmaceuticals in this world today. A lot of people are not aware of this, and we're going to get into this here in segment two. I want to, I want to really get into that. In fact, I'm going to write this uh, down here. Yeah, the, uh, the entire industry is really uh, uh, wrapped around pharmaceuticals, big pharma. So we're seeing that uh, you know, most of the, um, the reasons people are uh, in that social allopathic conditioning is because of how Carnegie and Rockefeller really got the medical industry uh, wrapped around their finger. Well, what a lot of people don't realize about Rockefeller and Carnegie is that um, you know those two fellers came came around Rockefeller uh, came around. Um, before monopolies were monopolies. Exactly. Uh, they know, were the creators. They were the creators. And the reason for uh, the, the regulations against monopolies. Mm -hmm. So not much has really changed. Mm -hmm. They can regulate it, but not much has really changed. It's already been done. Um, what we can do now is um, we can see what's happening around us, and we can now be um, uh, more aware right. of what we're doing and what we're um, – uh, how how we're being affected by the toxins, how we're being affected right. by our air, our water, our food, everything. Yeah, more and more people are waking up to this, and so there's a lot more research that's available on the Internet. Uh, my book is basically a compilation of a lot of the research I've done over the last three years, especially after Susie and I realized mm -hmm. our mistake. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I have gone down so many rabbit holes and spent a lot of time understanding the problem and then coming to the conclusion that if we had just done my father, Dr. David Root's detox program and uh, made better choices about not just our food, but mm -hmm. the things that we put onto or into our bodies, mm -hmm. we would have had a completely different outcome for my wife. And that's why you're here. That's why we're here. All right, folks, bottom line is this. We all have toxins. We all have um, things going into our body that we don't necessarily want. We've got the pollutions. We've got the fluoride. We've got the heavy metals. We've got the junk food, the sodas, all this stuff that we put into our bodies, yet there's no way for it to really escape or leave our bodies. And that's where detoxination comes in. Give these guys a call, 916-366-0999, 916-366-0999, or visit getdetoxinated.com, getdetoxinated.com. We're going to go to a break. We're going to come back and learn more. We'll be right back. All right, all right. Welcome back to Get Detoxinated. Uh, with Dan Root. My name is John Robert Quinn. I'm the guy who builds talk shows coast to coast. And this is episode seven, part two. And we are talking about uh, modern medicine and why uh, people are getting so sick these yes. days. Uh, and I guess we can give uh, Rockefeller Carnegie the blame for this. Well, pretty much we can give petrochemicals, uh, which are Rockefeller's baby, uh, pretty much the blame because... You know, Rockefeller is known as the oil baron, right? So um, he wanted to find better ways to uh, promote his product. And uh, it was apparent that chemicals can be produced from the petroleum that he was bringing up from the ground. Uh, he invested heavily into IG Farben the German company that a lot of people are quite aware of their history. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a very, very uh, dark history. 
uh, going back to the Holocaust. Anyway, um, so he invested heavily in IG Farben to help uh, create the pharmaceutical industry as we know it today. And uh, the uh, chemicals that were produced um, are one of the things that our bodies have never been uh, exposed to in the past. So they, th our bodies are not designed to deal with these things, and mm -hmm. so they wind up becoming uh, sequestered in your fat cells. Um, but the uh, industry itself, um, you know, it was because of a uh, report that they funded both Carnegie and Rockefeller, uh, which is now known as the Flexner Report. And this was done in 1910, and its purpose was to influence the legislature in order to get control over how medical schools functioned and uh, you know, who, who was actually going to mm -hmm. control the information being taught and then as well as um, who's going to get licensed as a physician and which hospitals were going to become uh, uh, licensed. Mm -hmm. uh, so what uh, transpired there was the AMA was formed, the American Medical Association, and uh, they were put in charge of essentially you know, what education was going to be given to uh, practitioners. Now mind you, the AMA has never and will never admit into their membership uh, any non-physician types that uh, we know as naturopath, homeopathic, or chiropractic, for example, there are others, but none of those uh, other practitioners are going to be admitted into the AMA. Very interesting. And so uh, in order for a doctor to even uh, maintain good standing in the AMA, they really can't even cure. They have to treat and they're taught in medical schools to treat using pharmaceuticals. So the other pieces of that too include burning, cutting, and of course, you know, uh, prescribing uh, either radiation mm -hmm. or uh, pharmaceuticals. So uh, this, this is all about things that cause pain, things that cause bruising, things that cause bleeding, which uh, kind of falls back onto the Hippocratic, uh, excuse me, the Hippocratic Oath. Mm -hmm. um, that's where you know we have been led to believe that the uh, physicians are required to take a Hippocratic Oath, and I have to tell you that um, most people, when you ask them, you know, what do you think of when you think of the Hippocratic Oath? The first thing is, is first, do no harm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're all led to believe. Mm -hmm. First of all, that doesn't even exist in the Hippocratic Oath. Uh, Hippocrates may have said that in one of his other writings, uh, I believe that was called Of the Epidemics, but um, it doesn't appear in the Hippocratic Oath. It's very, very interesting, and some of this stuff is like well over my head, but I think what's, it, every bit of this, when we started building these shows, every part of this was over my head from the get-go, uh -huh. and I'm slowly seeing it. You, you have, you've impressed me with how well you're able to now tell others what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so why is chronic disease and cancer quadrupled since, uh, what is this, 1996? 96 is uh, when I can relate back to a specific item. However, uh, you know, just recently there was a report released in the UK that indicated that there's a 700% increase in infertility and in both men and women. Since the 60s. Since the 60s. Now guess what came out in the 60s? Plastic bottles. Plastic Bottles. Very interesting. Yes. So in the 70s was when the uh, the uh, trend started really uh, going downhill for infertility. So um, do you think they're both connected, uh, like exactly connected? Um, well, we can say that the BPAs, uh, the bisphenol A, and the phthalates that are in plastics, you uh -huh. know, the BPA is, is just a, a toxic material used in plastic manufacturing, but the uh, phthalates is what makes like a plastic bottle uh, able to be squeezable mm -hmm. uh, in, in saran wraps and things like that, or plastic wraps. They're, the phthalates are what makes that supple. Got it. So, uh, you know, basically the chemicals that they use in the manufacturing of these plastics, especially anything used in packaging, food packaging, is very toxic. And uh, plastic bottles, you know, when they get from uh, uh, or go from a, um, uh, let's say, the water treatment plant, Correct. wherever if they're even treating it, don't get me started on that. Okay. I've seen tap water put into bottles and sold. Uh, as, I've yeah. well, look at what's going on in Michigan. There Let's you just go. leave that alone. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So uh, the bottles have been transported in uh, large 
container truck. Mm -hmm. And in the heat of the Well, I just read an sun. article the other day that said specifically, it's summertime, the, the, your, your car is warm, do not drink water from a warm water. plastic bottle. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking to myself, it's not being shipped in a refrigerated container. Nope. And it's not sitting in a refrigerated warehouse. No. Nope. And so we're basically poisoning ourselves. <laughs> it just ourselves. doesn't make it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes, and uh, and actually we're ca causing infertility uh, by drinking out of these plastic bottles. So my first recommendation to people is stop drinking out of plastic bottles. Uh, but uh, now let's go back to why 1996. The other thing that happened was was that uh, what was unleashed upon us was the uh, GMO products, the, okay. the glyphosate. Now, we've touched upon this in other episodes, but uh, for those who missed those other episodes, we have to point out the fact that if you look at the correlation curve uh, with the relationship between GMO products and the, and the amount of glyphosate, which is the main ingredient, the active ingredient in Roundup, uh, you can see that pretty much every inflammatory disease, every neurological disease, and a lot of cancers are all on the same curve as where GMO crops became more 100%. So let's use corn and soy as two examples. As those became more 100% uh, you know, GMO product, um, the amount of diseases rose, the number of reported diseases rose with that. Okay, so how do we regain control? Well, one of the best things we can do is start eating properly and buying GMO products that are organic um, and are products that you can be certain uh, are wearing the organic label properly because unfortunately too many things are now slipping through. Well, yeah, there's candy allowed. bars that say health is health's choice or things like that. I mean, come on, man. But even organic produce is sitting sometimes next to non-organic or GMO crops. Mm -hmm. And those have been sprayed heavily with glyphosate. And I gotta say, by the way, uh, for the longest time, I believed that it was the glyphosate that was the, uh, the main culprit. It turns out that it's all of the ingredients in Roundup that are toxic. And when things are in combination, they are more toxic Correct. because they, they- The chemical reaction. The reactions yes. and, and they, they actually uh, help each other to become worse. That's the technical way I'm going to say it. <laughs> All right. So um, once we go through the detox program, what should we see? So our, our detox program, which, by the way, was a four-week, four hours a day, we've now managed to get this down to two weeks at two hours a day. And I'm really proud of that because okay. uh, it's a time commitment for people. But um, detoxination with the sauna, niacin, and exercise will reduce the body burden of toxins we can empirically show by 30% on average. The thing about that is, is your uh, symptoms, if you come presenting to us with symptoms uh, that are known to be able to be handled with our detox, which pretty much every inflammatory and neurological <laughs> condition pretty much can be, um, we can actually show before and after results, uh, even with only a 30% reduction of 78 to 100% improvement in symptoms. That's, so that's it's incredible. really incredible. Yeah, but detoxination is much more than just the sauna, niacin, and exercise. We are giving guidance on what kinds of foods you want to eat, uh, what kind of supplements you want to take, mm -hmm. and uh, we're also uh, guiding you on non-toxic products that you can use for your hair spray, your hair shampoo and conditioner, body mm -hmm. wash, you know, all types of uh, things like that. Um, we have recommendations for. And so uh, detoxination is a full rounded um, holistic approach to wellness. Um, if you'd like to learn more, visit getdetoxinated.com, getdetoxinated.com, 916-366-0999, 916-366-0999. Uh, we're going to go to a break. We're going to come back and learn more. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to Get Detoxinated with Dan Root. My name is John Robert Quinn. I'm the guy who builds talk shows coast to coast. Of course, we're hanging out with Mr. Dan Root, Episode 7, Part 3. And we are talking about getting healthy through detoxination. Now, for the people who are just coming on board, mm -hmm. talk to me real quick. What is detoxination? Uh, detoxination is uh, our protocol for reducing your body burden of the fat stored toxins that cause inflammation and the diseases that are known for inflammatory disease or uh, neurological disease. And we use sauna, niacin, and exercise. 
to accomplish our goal. Okay, so uh, my understanding is that uh, you give them niacin, you have them get onto a treadmill, uh, the niacin creates uh, lipolysis rebound. Which we uh, should probably explain now that okay. you brought that up. <laughs> okay, so what is, explain that. <laughs> All right, so uh, when your body is between meals or fasting, or even when you're working hard and you need more energy, uh, the body is kind of melting or burning the fat, which is storing energy. So uh, in the process of burning fat and releasing energy, that's called lipolysis, uh, you're also releasing some toxins because the, the fat stored toxins, as we've discussed, uh, are gonna you know, be there, but um, it's uh, not sufficient enough to accomplish our goals. So we use niacin, vitamin B3, uh, to induce a state of hyper uh, lipolysis, if you will, um, where uh, the body rebounds because niacin literally turns off the very function that we need, the lipolysis. It turns it off, but uh, I use a, a dangled rubber band as an example. So if you're holding a rubber band between your two fingers and you take niacin and uh, you stretch that rubber band down with your other hand, well, that's what niacin does to lipolysis. It basically turns it off uh, to a very uh, large degree. And then uh, after the niacin wears off, if you shoot that rubber band up in the air, you get an effect that we call rebound lipolysis. Sure. And that lasts for approximately four hours, and we only need two of those to accomplish our mission. Okay. And... From there, then they go into a sauna. It's a full spectrum infrared sauna. Okay, so triple layers. Triple layers, yes. And I like essentially you're, you're co cooking you from the inside rather than from the outside in. Correct, with light waves, uh -huh. uh, not radio waves like a microwave. Okay. <laughs> yes, that would not be good. No, that would not. <laughs> yes, the, uh, the full spectrum <laughs> <laughs> the, the full spectrum infrared uh, we like because it actually has the three different wavelengths of infrared, which uh, the, the near infrared is going to do good for your cells on the skin mm -hmm. and do wound healing and things like that. The mid uh, level uh, infrared is going to get down a little deeper and it's going to promote oxygenation, blood flow, and a little detox. And then the uh, long wave or far infrared is going to get down to almost two inches and it's going to really promote what we call sebaceous sweat, well, sweat called sebaceous sweat, um, oh. where uh, your, your sebaceous glands are helping to uh, release the toxins through that oily, you know, viscous type of uh, uh, sweat known as sebaceous sweat. Very interesting, and, that, and that's, that nastiness is the toxin. It's actually a lot of lipids, uh, triglycerides, you know, the, the technical stuff, but uh, toxins are being released. And by the way, uh, so are fat stored or fat soluble vitamins and minerals. So as part of our protocol, we are replenishing, uh, you know, people will say supplementing, but no, we're mm -hmm. replenishing uh, what you're sweating out. So Very interesting. Okay. Uh, now, all of this is going to be available in a new book, and you're pushing for November. I am pushing for November. I'm, I'm so close to being done. It really just needs to be edited. Um, we've got a wonderful book cover that I think we're going to Don't have me edited. I don't plan to, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows, I love writing my books, and I love my books being raw. So if you find misspellings and things like that, it's You're getting the real you. It's the real me, and that's how I like it, personally. I, that's just that's how I roll, right? Yeah, it's the same yeah. thing with my They're talk great, shows. great books, just nobody's edited them. <laughs> just, just know that going in. <laughs> Hey, a long story short, we're not we're not having any trouble selling books. No, we're selling a lot of them. Oh, by the way, uh, it seems like you've mentioned something in uh, the cold call king that uh, I'm really grateful for. Yeah, yeah. I think you're I, in it, aren't I, you? I'm in there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm having to catch that towards the end. Which, by the way, I also notice you don't number your pages. No, I didn't number my pages either. Yeah, I yeah, did it on purpose. Exactly. I have to because, see, I, I have a lot of references well, in, yeah, in my to. book because yeah. there's a ton of information that I go yeah. into. In fact, we should probably talk about some of these other things that I go into because uh, there's really li literally so much that people don't understand about uh, how the medical industry is designed to profit. And it's really never going to uh, be about cures. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, has just recently even come out that, that uh, is huge is, you know, when you do an MRI scan, uh, if you do multiple MRI scans and they use the uh, gadolinium, uh, which is a, a contrasting agent, so it's a gadolinium-based contrasting agent, or GBCA, if they use that in multiple MRIs in a very short period of time, you can be sure of having all kinds of, uh, of symptoms from that. And some of them are, or can be extremely devastating to the point of not being able to even walk. Uh, the, the gadolinium is a man-made heavy metal. 
and it is uh, not processed by the liver, the kidneys, uh, not the way they describe it. Uh, it's, it's actually being stored in your fat cells and your bones. And in fact, I've uh, seen very few things that cause bone pain, but there are people in this listening audience that uh, are suffering from gadolinium toxicity, don't even realize it because they've had multiple MRIs. Very interesting. Uh, so with the detoxination, um, what results should people expect when they work with you? Well, as we mentioned in the earlier segment, uh, you know, our, our protocol is uh, shown to reduce, on average, 30% of the toxins from your body. By the way, after you've done our protocol, your body is conditioned to uh, work better. It, it's also um, more able to process things than it was before it got blocked up by all these you know, toxins. So you're going to see a continued uh, reduction in body burden if you try and reduce your exposures, continued exposures. Uh, but that 30% that we talk about translates to about a 78 to 100% improvement in symptoms for most inflammatory conditions. So um, that's one of the main things. The other thing too is, is that because the fat is storing toxins, it won't burn or melt easily. It has to be forced to burn or melt. That's why a lot of people are having issues losing weight when they've done everything that they were told to do. Mm -hmm. You know, they've done all these fad diets or whatever, and they've, they've taken whatever pills and things like that. You're not going to burn fat that's toxic. So one of the side benefits is the fact that people have a, uh, an obvious reduction in fat uh, after they've done our protocol. Mm -hmm. It's not one of the main, uh, you know, motives to do the protocol, but it is a wonderful side uh, benefit. All right. Learn more. GetDetoxinated.com. GetDetoxinated.com. 916-366-0999. 916-366-0999.